Hi everyone, sharing a time lapse of my pastel painting of three very cute dogs. I work in soft pastel and if this is a medium you'd like to learn more about, check out my other real time tutorials on YouTube. And please do hit that subscribe button and the bell button to hear when I release new videos. I also now have a Patreon channel where you'll find hour long tutorials with lots of real time footage, fully narrated, showing you the colours I use, giving you photo reference to work from. It's really the best way for me to progress forward in making videos and also raise some funds to upgrade my equipment. So I hope you'll consider supporting me there for a tiny amount of money in comparison to the quality tuition you're getting. Well, this piece was an absolute monster to work on at 24 inches wide. I actually started it standing up so that I could work the whole background as one. As always, I always start with the background and I love having fabric as a backdrop as it can really add colour and texture to complement the subjects. That's something I like to try to do in my work. More than just creating a head portrait, I really love to create a whole scene and tell a little bit more of a story about the dogs in the portrait. And the three dogs in this portrait did such a good job of that. You can really see their personality shining through in both their facial expressions and their body language, the way they are with each other. So I love to create a portrait where you can tell so much about the animals just from looking at their picture. Many colours go into creating this green fabric. You can see me using some very vibrant yellows, um, a mixture of greens and then lighter highlight colours. I'm using Unison soft pastels mostly. I also use some Faber-Castell pick pencils when I get down to the finer detail. But for the majority of big areas like this, it's the big fat soft pastels. And starting work on the first dog, who is a light honey white mix. The footage from this first dog will make up a full length tutorial on how to paint light coloured fur, something I get asked about all the time as it's really tricky to do. You can see here how many colours go into creating this coat and you may be surprised at how dark it starts out. But similar to oil painting, you need to add those rich darks first and bring your tonal value up gradually with the lighter colours. Just be sure you're using a proper pastel paper which will allow you to add those top layers, light on top of dark. You can see a full list of the materials I've used in this piece though in the description. You can see as I build up the layers in the coat, the marks I make get smaller and a bit more precise. The pieces of pastel get smaller and I also use some Faber-Castell pit pencils for the very finest of detail, like flicking those hairs out at the very edges of the dog creating a nice soft outline. On a light coloured dog like this, you'll be probably quite surprised at how little white I actually use. Bear in mind, when you're painting anything white, it's going to reflect a lot of the colours in its surroundings and you're going to use probably quite a minimal amount of white. Really save the white for the areas that are sitting right on top and being hit by sunlight directly. Anything else, there are going to be shadow tones and other colours in there being reflected off other surfaces around the animal. Sometimes you'll find a lot of green underneath a chin of a dog if they're sitting on grass. So you've really got to notice all the other colours in there and don't let your brain tell you that it needs to have lots of white pastel on there because it's quite the opposite. There are so many colours that go into creating white. And that's why it's such a tricky thing to paint as you're constantly working against what your mind is telling you but you really need to learn to trust what your eyes can see. I'm going to let you watch the rest of the time lapse now with some relaxing music. It was such a giant piece to work on that even the time lapse feels like an epic length. But I hope you enjoy seeing these three cuties come together and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos.
As always, I hope you've enjoyed this time lapse. If you like my videos, please do hit subscribe and the little bell button so that you'll get notified every time I make a new video. Real time tutorials over on Patreon and a whole lot more content coming here on YouTube too. Thanks for watching.